the absolute um, lapse in this is is shocking. And and when it comes to cons- conspiracies, I want to say this: conspiracy and incompetency uh, roll together pretty well, and and they both look very very similar. Uh, I'm going to go with incompetency on this. I hope that that's what it is, but I hope we do get an honest investigation into this. And God forbid there be somebody who was just kind of playing this lax because they didn't like his politics. Uh, That's a very scary place for us to be. It it really is because everyone in federal law enforcement holds up their hand and they take a very serious oath. And that oath is not defined by color, creed, race, politics, or anything else. It's to serve and to protect. And uh, God forbid, as you said, but I'll tell you another thing that a lot of people are finding concerning. And that was the number of females on this particular detail. And I was stunned to see it. Um, because if you look at the membership in the Secret Service, and remember, the Secret Service has multiple responsibilities, right? Counterfeiting. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have social security, or I'm uh, sorry, uh, credit card fraud. Mm-hmm. And then their primary, though, is their protection details. But if you look at the number of Secret Service agents and compare that to the number of females, and then you look at the number of females that were on this detail, which I counted four, Mm -hmm. two in his immediate circle as a six foot four man, it is, it was a little surprising to me. And this is not to say that women don't have a place on security details. They could serve a lot of roles that men can't. We can get into small places, crawl spaces, attic spaces. Uh, We can go unnoticed because we're female. Um, so there's a lot of things a woman, as long as you meet all the requirements and and can shoot and are good at tactics and have been good in your training, there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to serve. But let's be real. If I have a six foot four candidate or or a political figure protectee that I'm supposed to protect, I'm probably if I'm the on scene commander, not going to put a five foot three woman on him. That's just me. Yeah, it's just it's just logistics. It's, it's all it is. I mean, look, if, if he was, you know, four foot five, sure, that makes make more, more sense. But you're going to want a basketball type stature individual in, in that sort of detail just because of physical logistics. It, 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 the decision of, of who chooses who's going to be on what detail, is that up to the director of, of that specific uh, event that is going on? Or, or how is that chosen? Typically, it is the on-scene commander, so it's the person that's in charge of that overall protection detail. And, and you know, I don't want to sound hypocritical because anybody who knows me knows I'm about five foot one, and people know Comey is six foot seven, and mm-hmm. I was on his detail. Mm-hmm. But I had specific assignments, such as I did the advance. Mm-hmm. I drove his limousine. I was an armed person behind him. I opened the door. I was very seldom on the, on the part of the detail that would have shrouded him. Sure. You know, that was responsible for, because, you know, I would have had him from about the knees down. (laughs) I mean, he's a tall man. Mm -hmm. Um, But, but also carry into that. uh, I do believe though, that no matter whether you're a man or a woman, are you going to keep your head about you in this situation Mm -hmm. and do the right thing and not turn tail and run? Because when bullets are flying, you know, you're really tested. You could do this all day long with paintballs Mm -hmm. in practice, but what happens when bullets are flying? And I can tell you different people respond differently. And so I was proud to see the woman on his detail to do everything she could to shroud him, to get him to duck, and and put her life mm-hmm. totally uh, uh, disregard her life for his safety. But then I saw one of the other women right there up on the stage, confused. What do we do now? I think she said, mm-hmm. "Don't hold me to the exact quote, yeah. but it was something like that." Where where are we doing? What are we doing? Um, you don't want that. Yeah. So whether you're male or female, so and then it begs the question: 
you know, we're the most competent people on this detail because whether you like Trump or not, everyone hates him. And yeah. surely the Secret Service had to consider him one of the number one most volatile targets that they would protect. I would think. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're going to have that level. I mean, volatile there, volatile with, with anyone on this presidential uh, election ticket or any of the tickets that that this their number one target uh, for for crazy people like this to 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 I, I don't know. I mean, if it comes down to well, we kind of put, you know, the B team on here today. There is no B team day for people like this, especially in this environment. You know, maybe when he's 90 something and he's not in any sort of political office or running. OK, you got B team, but this is not that time. Um, just, no, yeah. And, and quite frankly, the B team needs to go handle credit card fraud. Yeah. Yeah. This was mm -hmm. let me ask you one more thing about that day, uh, because there's been some criticism saying, they let him stand up. They know there's obviously that that now famous image of him uh, with his fist raised and he's shouting "fight." Um, should that have been allowed to happen? It's not a political statement of "I don't want that to happen" if I don't agree with his politics. But um, should how did he do that? How did no one keep him down? I mean, he was in another sh like before we knew that there wasn't another shooter. We knew the one shooter was down, but we didn't really know if there was somebody else out there with something like this. Should he have been kept down or, or was this just kind of how it went? Maybe he pushed his way out through them uh, in, in the fog of the war of what was going on at that moment. How did he do that? Okay. I, I can explain that. So protectees, you know, they're not as pliable as you might think, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to do what they want to do. They act spontaneously. You're doing the best to make your bubble around them. Really the human shield. You're also, have your head on a swivel uh, to the point that you you know you're you're making sure that the immediate threats aren't coming at him. I mean, somebody could have jumped out of the crowd as an example and attacked. You know, nobody really knew it was happening so quick. The other thing is, in other words, people can do quick motions like that, and you're trying to control him. He's a six foot four guy, yeah. he's taller than I think anybody on the stage. So, you know, how long did that take? A second, two seconds? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was quick. The other thing is, he is a, you know, in his late 70s. Mm -hmm. I mean, to get somebody to crouch, just think of, you know, grandparents that are in their late 70s, 80s, mm -hmm. and that stature to crouch down low and crawl, it's difficult sure. for a nimble person in their 30s. Yeah. <laughs> so there were a lot of, you know, physicality things, I think, going on there uh, that resulted in in what we saw. Fascinating to uh, to hear your perspective on this and kind of a behind the curtain look. Uh, there's obviously going to be a lot of investigating going into this. It'll be fascinating to see uh, what we find out in the coming weeks and months. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts, and especially Apple Podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.